when we are in particularly difficult, particularly challenging life situations, we get desperate and we are not emotionally stable anymore. Therefore, one of the first big tasks is to find our own emotional stability again. But how do we do this? To find an answer to this question, it is helpful to know that challenging, potentially traumatizing situations have, have four characteristics in common, no matter how different they might be in their contexts. The first common characteristic is that these situations or in these situations personal boundaries get overstepped. These boundaries might be physical in the sense that we might get injured or psychological. The second characteristic is that these situations go along with, with a strong feeling of helplessness and powerlessness within us. The third is the feeling of loneliness that comes with it. And the fourth, the feeling of strong fear, even the fear of death. These are very strong emotions and our inner dynamic emotional balance becomes unstable. There is a strong weight on the negative side of emotions. How do we get this into a more emotional balance again? On one hand, it is important to try to put as little on the negative side as possible. And on the other side, to put as many positive feelings and positive experience, experiences on the other side of this inner balance. When we look at the four characteristics, we can find what kind of experiences this might be. When we see the a characteristic of overstepping boundaries, on the other side, we can put a particular attention to respecting personal boundaries, our own boundaries, as well as the boundaries of others. When we look at the characteristic of helplessness and powerlessness, we understand that we put on the positive side the feeling of being capable of doing something, of managing something, of personal competence and of the freedom to decide. When we look on the characteristic of loneliness, community can be put on the other side. The fact that we are not alone, but we are helping each other. And the fourth characteristic, the characteristic of fear, there it is important to put on the other side moments in which we feel safe and secure and if in which we find orientation again and slowly build up trust again, trust within ourselves and trust towards the world and towards the other people. With time, this emotional balance becomes more equal again. We become inwardly, emotionally more stable again. And we will feel the strength that comes with it. In our work with the children, we also consider all these aspects. Because what is helpful for us is also helpful for them. And we try to create as many positive moments for them in which they feel safe and secure, loved and capable of doing things. <laughs>